お待たせいたしましたありがとうございますありがとうございます Hi everybody, this is Lucas here from Malasaka and in today's vlog I'm taking you on a journey to Sapporo to pick up, or actually inspect, uh, Porsche 993 with an RSR body kit. It's not an original RSR, but it's got the body kit and uh, yeah, let's see what comes out of it. But before we get there, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, the notification bell, drop a comment and let's enjoy the ride. Um, I landed safely here in Sapporo It's bloody cold compared to Ibaraki, it was raining Should get a little bit better during the day Nevertheless, it's time to get uh, on a shuttle bus or a taxi, whatever is available And hit the road down to the city And check out a nice Porsche um, Stay tuned, let's go! I am at the Sapporo main train station right now trying to get out. My appointment is in the afternoon so um, I do have some time to go out and have a look at the city for the first time in my life. So it should be quite exciting. Let's see what happens. And I wish I would be here in winter with my snowboard but that's not the case. Not yet at least. My first impression is just like any other Japanese city with the difference that it's cold. Yeah, personally I'm a poor for crab and I think I'm gonna have crab for lunch and for dinner and tomorrow breakfast and lunch. Yeah, ramen it is. I just had the pleasure to enjoy one of the most amazing ramens I ever had and uh, with those bean sprouts that I could add on top and that uh, fish marinade or whatever it was uh, the flavor changed so drastically and it's difficult for me to say whether it was better or worse nevertheless it changed and that ramen was just mind-blowing I mean I like ramen I've been eating a lot of ramen all around Japan this is my first time to Hokkaido and this place is uh, quite known for a lot of different foods uh, one of them being Genghis Khan, a traditional lamb meal uh, grilled lamb which I will try to make tonight I don't have time to actually explore that part of Hokkaido nevertheless I try to do the best out of it while here and just keep on enjoying got nothing else to do <laughs> I've arrived at my 
destination. It's still closed, I guess. Um, there's some nice toys here, to be honest. <laughs> really crazy little Nambo. I mean, this is insane. I've never seen Tune built like that. And this looks, this looks quite a handful, I think. Look at the bag, the pipes, exhaust. Quite some build. The 4A8 over there. Pretty sexy too. But what I'm interested in is over there in that showroom. And they close. <laughs> So basically what happened is um, we decided to buy these uh, this 993 um, RSR build but we're waiting for a compression test because uh, that's quite important there was some oil leak uh, from around the chain cover and uh, just want to make sure that the guy will lift it up and uh, take some photos just want to make sure it's not coming from the cylinders uh, because that would be quite expensive but the chain cover and the camshaft cover that's approximately 20 200,000 japanese yen roughly 2000 us dollars 2500 canadian dollars 7000 dollars lotties you know uh, whatever currency you're interested in and uh, we made an offer for the vehicle and uh, yeah he'll sleep over it get the information that we want and move forward with the deal Time to hit up the city and check out what Sapporo really is like. I just found this um, Genghis Khan place randomly through Google. It's got 4.8 um, stars out of 550 reviews, so hopefully it's good. I had an amazing dinner. Uh, this entire Genghis Khan experience was something around 7,700 yen, which translates into something around $70, including all those beers that I had. I am very impressed. Honestly, the only thing that's like bothering me is the coldness here. It is significantly colder than down in Kanto, which is yeah, I'd say around 10 degrees. Uh, Min sent me a photo of his um, audio meter and I was 26 and we're having 16 right now here. All right, hit the road, go and see what comes up. I'm starting day two of my adventure here in Sapporo. And yeah, I had a lot of fun yesterday. I ended up in a bar, had a chit chat with the bartender, pretty nice. Had a couple of drinks, came back to the hotel, rested very well, had a good breakfast. And now I want to go and see a few things around Sapporo. The city is actually very nice. The architecture is significantly different to what I know from the Kanto region. But then again, you know, it gets quite cold here. It's got less earthquakes. Mmm, smells of nice grilled meat. Uh, less earthquakes compared to the area where we live. And the roads are so much wider. There is actually like space on them, so yeah, drag races would be a total uh, game. I'm on my way to the ropeway, I want to climb a mountain. Uh, not really climb, but like, I take a ride. And wow, the colors are changing. Autumn is coming also to suffer a stunning. Perfect view, stunning. And got a flight to catch in five hours. Uh, I guess I have plenty of time to do that. I am on the other side of the view terrace right now, facing to the north, I guess. Anyways, looking at those mountains. 
and I just want to imagine the roads in them. I decided to take a walk downstairs uh, to the previous station because it just makes sense. Come to car. She wants to shake me. Just imagine this corner and a JZX100. And that corner over there too. Or on a motorbike. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, this place is called Kani Shogun. So it should be good, it's quite recommended and famous apparently. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch here. Doesn't look cheap, but since when crab was cheap. So I ordered some uh, meal with Taraba, one of the tastiest uh, crabs that I had. It's quite volume intense and flavor intense and the menu that I ordered has also some raw kani sashimi and I had the pleasure of actually enjoying raw kani before and I love it so why not I'm kidding anyways the lady brought some nabe which is like hot pot type of thing and she put some tofu in it, cabbage, Chinese cabbage, leaves, mushrooms, noodles, seaweed, carrot, and of course crab, because the main dish is crab. If you ever have the opportunity to be in Sapporo, you have to, I repeat, you have to try this food. Don't look at the prices because Hell knows if you're gonna come back or not. The adventure here in Hokkaido is coming to an end. It's about time to catch a train. Not train, plane. I haven't been on a plane since yesterday. Uh, I've been on a break for nearly two years.